And how y'all doing out there? What's happening? So they're really going to be about, oh, Suge Knight got caught up by TMZ and they asked him about Keefe D and was he corporate, what he thought about the arrest and the Tupac thing. And he he played that old predictable role. He said, I ain't saying nothing, ain't going to do nothing. He talked about playing Pop Warner for Bubba Keefe D. Now, one thing I will give him, the only thing I will give him credit on, he wouldn't wish prison on his worst enemy or nobody. That I'll co-sign him with on that, you know. However, this game of playing true and you're not loyal to nobody. He's not loyal to nobody. Uh, If Tupac was supposed to be his brother and he thought so much of him and they were so successful together and did all that, why wouldn't you, why wouldn't you want justice for him? Unless you knew something. I'm a conspiracy theorist and I definitely believe that between Suge and Puffy and them, they know about Pac and Biggie. Now, the sad thing is that the music industry has become the streets. We're not here on the streets. Black lives don't matter because if they did, they would have anti-black hate bills and legislation. However, it's a, you know, you used to go to Hollywood to dream. You think you'd be black, rich and famous and your problems would go away because that's the fantasy they sold you on. But come to find out when this thing called they're using hip hop and why I definitely agree with Special A and Cam about Ice Cube because you didn't create the problem, but you definitely didn't try to, to, to solve it either. It became it louder to fester. This not speaking out and saying anything and acting like you snitch code and all this is, is past say. It's past that. I ain't gonna lie. If Tupac Shakur was my supposedly homeboy, we was tight, we'd been things, and somebody and I knew what had happened, of course I would talk. Why wouldn't I? That's supposed to be my boy. But my homeboy, you know, through thick and thin, if we allegedly are so close and so allegedly. But see, there's no loyalty in that industry. And the reality of being black out here is just like being black on that Hollywood plantation. They pimp you and they have people. And the TMZ Harvey Levin act like he was shocked at Shug's reaction and response. I'm like, I could have told you that. I could have seen you that prison call. You could have saved your money on that call because he's going to not tell, ever tell what he saw. He's taking that to the grave. I don't condone that, though. I think people need to speak up. I think it's embarrassing that it's taking almost 30 years because even black lives don't matter. You let that have been Eminem, they'd have been there like <laughs> midnight. On the board. Depending on where you live, midnight would be about two minutes. They'd have had that solved. They sat in there three decades on Tupac. They ain't got no close to Biggie. <clears throat> they never got the Sam Cooke story right. I told you before, you know, that, that, that plantation, that industry, and the people they produce, and see the ones that hurt you most is supposed to be the kin, the skin folks. But not all skin is kin. And, um, you know, Shug's entitled to his, to his personal opinion, but I don't condone it. I don't at all. I say, look, man, it ain't about you getting out or whatnot. It's about you living peace with yourself. You can really live and say you will never, ever, if you know something, especially if it was supposed to be that intention and your supposedly baby brother, your supposedly good friend, and you made money when y'all were doing all these things, and he just gets deleted, and you don't ever want to, you, you, that's some coldness to me. That's not spiritually uh, in, in tune to me. Please like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments. And I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep in mind, clear, watch out for another. And share the video if you like. I'm out.